What's up guys, Iceman here, and today I'm playing Lakaza, which is a custom story in Amnesia. And let's see how this shit goes. Okay. The writing of a site in South Africa made by my skin crawl with goosebumps and my heart raised, remembered as the ones who saved humanity from all illness, all disorders. Okay. Beware when standing in darkness, yada yada, I already know that. Let's see if we can increase the sensitivity here, it's a little bit slow. Um, input, yes, mouse sensitivity, there we go, maybe about a three, that'd be good, okay, back to game, alright, this is good, what do we got here? Eugene, I hope this letter finds you well, as I have exciting news I must share with you, last night while I was kicking my feet up at the pub, I was approached by a well-dressed man, his hair was greased back and his suit was quite snazzy, he was obviously there for business. He told me that he knew me from the research you and I had begun, but never finished during our time at the university. He then went into great detail explaining how he stumbled upon it while attending college, and found that we were onto something. Our research for a cure-all medication was closer to completion than we could ever have expected. He then went on to explain that we are only missing one chemical in our experiment. He called it Scientite, as he produced a small vial of purple liquid from his coat. He informed me that the small vial of liquid was retrieved from a research team in South Africa. The team has found the source of scientite and said it can be extracted in great quantities, but they need more scientists to aid in their studies. So that is where you come in, my friend. Travel to Africa with me and we will be remembered as the ones who saved humanity from all illness, all disorders. Signed, Albert Jones. Alright, some scientite. And it's, ooh, what do we got here? A ninja star. Sexy. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it looked more like a starfish than a ninja star. Aw, oh, tinderbox. Yes. I miss playing Amnesia. This game's fun. Mm, anything down here? No? Okay. Got a note. The newspaper is brown and worn. Cure all at all possible. Today, two scientists, Albert Jones and Eugene Crowley, are researching a new pharmaceutical that will treat all ailments, from the common cold to carcinogenic tissue. The two have been nominated the Nobel's Peace Prize, the shoe in if their research is conclusive. Okay. I guess that would be the scientite that we're just uh, reading about. Alright, let's open this up. Nothing in there. Anything over here? Great craftsmanship. Alright, let's go. Got a text message. Oh, whoa, what's going on here? Shiza McGooden. What the fuck, dude? Please be a lantern. Yes. All right. Let's go. Oh, dude. Shit. Cougars. Cougars. I ran for what felt like miles in complete darkness before coming to a small clearing. Actually, it was more like, you know, 50 yards, but, you know, whatever you want to say there, bud. Oh my god, if I get scared right now, I'm gonna shit my pants. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Whew. Oh man, this is no good, no bueno. The tense feeling of being watched was something I couldn't shake, but then my hope for rescue was renewed each time I saw lights. Okay. I would be shitting my pants right now. 
Oh my gosh. A note. Research entry 34. Dr. G. Friesman. It's been a week since we arrived at the site. Our contractor, a Mr. Blue, seems to have forgotten to mention that this research outpost, and the source of this scientite, was being held in the confines of this forgotten temple. The other doctors have made reports of unusual noises coming from the depths. I assured him it was nothing but the wind. I, too, heard these sounds, though. This place gives me the creeps. I just want to finish gathering this chemical and leave as soon as possible. <sighs> the voices of the characters in this game are really unprofessional. It sounds like... OH MY GOD! <gasps> Darkness. Yes. Crouch. Behind box. Okay, guys. I just shit my fucking pants. Is it safe? It's safe. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Let's go. Fuck yes. I had no choice, I followed that monstrosity into the unknown depths. Holy shit! Okay, where the fuck did those rocks come from? Alright, we got right, and we got left. Right, and we're going right. No balls, no balls, no balls. Okay, let's look at our mementos here. The door is blocked by weak planks of wood. Maybe I can find something to pry them off. Okay, let's let's try and find that. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, stone. <laughs> That didn't work. Come on. Maybe a bigger stone? Oh, it's heavy. It's a heavy one. What the fuck? Alright, screw that. Let's look for a crowbar. We're going left. Nice! Fucking crowbar! Mm. Research entry 88. Dr. G. Friesman. The team was right. The sounds were a warning and we did not heed it. We had just set up after reaching a rich source of cyanide when Birmingham, our botanist, went missing. We called for her on the radio but got nothing back. Soon enough, Lewis, our geologist, went missing during the search for Birmingham, leaving us with only myself, Dr. Kleiner, and Dr. Wang. We came back to the main chamber of this place after much discussion. We decided to board the main hall, wait three days for the missing team members to make their way back to camp, and if they do not show, we will return to Mr. Blue to form a proper search party. God, that guy cannot talk. He said a geologist, and it was clearly a botanist. Like, what kind of fucking retard are you? Alright, let's see here. I mean, they're kind of one and the same, but really not. Botanist is more of like a plant guy. Oh, 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 shit. Okay, sensitivity's a little too strong there. Let's use this crowbar, shall we? Oh, yeah, crowbar. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, let's work it. Let's work it. Come on. Crack it. Break. Fuck you, yeah, Shiza. Oh, my crowbar, bro. What is the meaning of this? Alright, let's get it. Let's get it. Anything back here? Nope. Nothing. Please. 
Please don't scare me. These halls were visited before myself. That was comforting. The conclusion of the past visitors was unsettling, though. Alright. Oh my god, this place is fucking creepy. This place creeps me out, guys. Rats. What is this? Okay, I'm definitely gonna shit myself soon. I can feel it. I can feel it. We got some fruit here. Some rotten fruit. Fuck yeah! Grab it! Grab it! Grab the tinderbox! Man, this guy's got hops! Dude, I feel like this guy is fucking with me right now. Wait, what is that? Open up. Hmm. Ooh, that's no good. We're going downstairs. This place is creepy. The water works. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. What is that? The walls here look Oh, holy fuck! Not cool. Not cool. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this video here. I don't want it too long of a video. If you guys want me to continue this and beat this game, continue the story, please leave a like, a comment, maybe suggesting another custom story that you guys have watched and you know found interesting. And, uh, yeah, just let me know, guys. I'm going to save right here, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.